Yo, yo, what's up, guys? I'm back again with another video. And, guys, this time we're going to be working with the Zamo Cleaner Wax. It's like a rated number one car polish, as you can see right there. And uh, I come back, I did this one way back there, you know what I'm saying? I want to try it on a black paint job. And uh, since my camera quality got better, like I said, guys, you'll see some of these products I come back and do over. Because the simple fact that my camera quality was kind of jacked up at the time I did some of these videos. So I come back and do them again. But uh, right here, here's the Zymo Cleaner Wax. It's the world's best shine. Safe for all car finishes. Natural formula, no harsh chemical solvents. Restores neutral oils to paint finishes. Okay. And as you can see right there, so this is rated number one. And uh, a lot of my stuff I try to bring to you guys that you can get it from right over the counter, you know. Uh, you can find this at Walmart. I'm pretty sure you can get it from some other stores, but... um. I ordered mine on eBay, I think it was, uh, a year or two ago, about two years ago now. And um, But you can get this out of Walmart because I've seen it in there. Just I ain't seen it in there lately, but you could before, you know. But you still can order it, on Wal you order it out of Amazon or either eBay or something like that. You know? But it's some really good stuff. And what we're going to do... We're going to work on a couple of these scratches and stuff up in here. We'll see how much uh, pop shine that it gives compared to the other side of this uh, tailgate here. And uh, as you can see here, it says severe, severe, superior mirror finish. It repairs swirl marks and minor scratches. So we're going to take them out. You know what I'm saying? So it's basically a cleaning wax. And uh, so it's, it's rated one. It's a car polish. So it has your polishes, your waxes, and everything. It's an all-in-one, basically, which I love all-in-one products. All right, that's what the product look like on the applicator right here. As you guys can see, that's what it look like, kind of bluish-green looking. Okay, so uh, no further ado, man, we got our rag ready to go. Let's jump into it, man. Let's see what this stuff do, make a difference. Okay, let's get it out of the way. Yeah. All right, now some of the stuff I'm be working on, you see little light scratches like this. Little light scratches like right there, if you guys can see that. You know how good this thing is zoom in here. And uh, little fine stuff, you know. You no, know, like I tell you guys, some of that big stuff ain't going nowhere. Like with thumbnails going down in it and all that kind of crap. Let me see, like this one here. I can remove that one. I'm not sure. A lot of them you ain't gonna remove without the rotary though. Or the DAs or something like that, cutting pads. But we're just gonna work this by hand right here today. Okay? That's how we're gonna do it today. All right, y'all see some of the scratches and swirls and we're gonna see the pop shine that it gives because it corrects the paint zone. Then we're going to move over here and compare from side to side, okay? So, uh, let's jump into it, man. Here we go. Don't want to take it in swirls because it's bracelet. Any kind of bracelet waxes like this, clean on waxes, you want to make sure you don't take it in swirls. Because if it brace up anything, it's going to put swirls in your paint. Okay. All right. That's the first coat. So as you can see, it basically dries up really fast. So um, we're going to go and take off that first coat. Put some more product. And uh, this stuff is really good though, guys. Now, I'm thinking you still could get this out of Walmart. It's gonna run you around about 10 to 12 bucks in there. Cause I used to see this in there a lot. But I haven't seen it in there lately because I really ain't been looking for it in there. But um, you, 
guys should be able to still get this out of Walmart, though. All right, so um, let's go ahead and buff this back off here. Here we go. Zymo Cleaner Wax. Well, let me tell you something. This stuff really made this black pop from what I'm seeing. I don't remember trying it out on a black vehicle. But, you know, I know it's an all-in-one product, so it's got to be good for something. I'll tell you one thing. If it doesn't remove all the scratches and stuff, you sure can not see me a whole lot better on my tablet. And everything. Boy, does it shine. Tell it, restore the oils that's in it. Okay. All right. Now, like I always tell you guys, uh, some of the scratches and stuff, some of these products like this, uh, these are cleaner waxes, but don't get it wrong. Uh, sometimes they're just not going to remove all scratches and swirls and scrapes and stuff. Sometimes you have to go deeper. You may have to use this product with a cutting pad or something on a DA or your rotary or whatever. Sometimes you're just not going to remove them by hand, you know. You might make it look better, but some of the defects will still be there. You're only going to be able to remove them with a DA or a rotary or something like that. So don't respect all these products, these type of products that work by hand, you know. But it will help out and make it look better. Alright? Because it's going to take out something. Some of them. Put a little pressure to it. Alright guys. So let's hit it with the second coach. Out of here man. Here we go. Now this wax is made in Germany. Over there. This is a German wax. You know this is good stuff. I think these waxes are made for the BMWs and Mercedes. And they got some of the best and hardest paint there is. That's BMW and Mercedes stuff, guys, I think. This is the German wax, yeah. It dries up super, super fast. Super fast, so... Well, I'm going to hit it three times. It dries up super fast. So you guys about to really ready to work with it. When you um, start using it. I don't mean play with it. Now you got to work with this wax because it really dries up super fast. Alright, so we're going to buff this right back on. That's how fast it dries up. See here. Don't take but a minute or two for it's dry. And I love my all-in-one stuff because it's gonna repair some of the scratches and swirls and scrapes and stuff like that, you know. And one step, bring out the shine, put the oils back into the paint. Okay, I already see a big difference. I saw that a few minutes ago. Okay. All right, guys. Now you can see a difference from the other side already. Watch this and watch it ease right onto the other side. See the difference? Come back over here. See how much clearer it is over here? Compare it to over here. See? So you already can see a big difference. Okay, this is the third coat. We're working in there. I'm going to apply pressure to it this time. Here we go. And this time I'm working with some of the scratches and swirls, scuffs, scrapes, or whatever. You can tell I'm putting pressure to it. You can feel the bracing in this product. Now 
Like I said, this is a German made wax here. So it's pretty good stuff, man. Um it's made for some of the harder clear coats and stuff like uh BMW, Mercedes. Uh they got harder paint jobs on them. I think they painted some of those cars are painted with if I'm not mistaken, I think it's Emeron. BMW and Mercedes are painted with Emeron paint. They got some of the best paint that money can buy on BMWs and Mercedes. Oh, they're painted with Emeron. Yep, because we used to have to paint them in our paint shop. Back then when I was a teenager, when I was working in a paint shop, and they was painting the uh, BMWs and the Mercedes Benzes with the Emeron paint. Something like airplane paint. Okay. So, guys, that's enough, man. Let's uh, go ahead and bump that back on. I'm not going to let it sit forever. So, here we go. And I applied pressure to this one. So, to work on some of the scrape scars and scratches and stuff that was in here. Y'all know, as you know, black not sure at all anyway. You know, plus it's an older vehicle. So you got to realize that black really going to kick it out there when CD defects and stuff. It's going to show up on black. It's going to be hard to get around them. It's going to be hard to get it perfect also. Okay. Right, and that's all off there. Okay, so what you do, represent his work. We're gonna come back and we're gonna compare the shine from this side to that side. Okay, so let's get into it, man. And uh, here we go. Tape out of the way. Now we're going to get up on it, come back and check it out. Now you can see a difference. This is the side that I did. I'm going to come over here. See that big difference? You can see all the scrapes and stuff in this side. This side is dull light. If you look at there. Now let's go over here to the side that I just finished. See how much clearer I am in here? Now let's mose it back over here. One more again. See there all the scrapes of scars, scuffs, and this door light. You can tell a big difference, guys. In the dullness and stuff. See here? Let's come back over here to the side I just finished. See how much clearer that is? All right, guys, you can tell a big difference just by hand application. It's a whole lot shinier also. I know you guys can see that. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> that is popping. You can see a big difference just with the hand application. I recommend anybody that's have a, a black vehicle and want to make that black pop i highly recommend that one and you can tell a big difference man i mean it look like it looks shows age to this side man and you guys see it and you just come over here look almost like it's been painted see how clear it is look like it took off some of the swirling and stuff over here to this side it's a whole lot clearer see that almost mirror finish like but there you have it, guys. Just search up in your Walmart, man. And see, can you get this uh, Zymo cleaner wax? Yeah, I told you guys, I like to buy my stuff right over the counter. I don't like to be waiting on, on no products. But I do order. But I don't like to order them over the line, though. I like to get walk in the store get my stuff right then. I'm going to be ready to use them if you spend your money, you know. So there you go, guys. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And uh, yeah, guys, get up on it, man. Go on up in your Walmart. See, can you find it? It was in there for about 10 or 12 bucks, because I remember. 
Alright, take care. I'll see you guys on the next video. I'm out of here. Peace.